Hey, what's up everyone? It's uh, Sam from Canoe Trippers here. And you might have noticed I don't have my Killarney videos out yet. Um, the trip that I took with Wayne, that's probably about two or three weeks ago now. But um, it, it should be out within the next week or so and it's going to be a four-part series. And to be completely honest with you, I lost all of my audio again. Um, or 90 to 95% of it with a similar thing that happened on the trip I took with Cordo and Francine, whereas the GoPro fell into the lake or I left it in the canoe um, that was filling up with rainwater. And so the internal USB port, I think that's what's broken. It's not the Rode Micro. Actually, I'm using it on this camera and I'm sure it's fine. Um, or it's the adapter um, that the GoPro basically transfers the three and a half millimeter jack to the to the USB. So it's one of those, um, I might not be using an external microphone on my GoPro anymore. I'll just kind of have it, um, the internal microphone um, and do it that way. So kind of sucks, but oh well, maybe it'll work. I had it resting in some rice for about a week. So I'll probably try it out sometime this week and hopefully it works. And I do have a number of videos, uh, or sorry, not videos, but uh, trips coming up that um, I'm going to wait to release those and I'll probably do it in the winter months just because, just to be greedy, and I actually think that um, um, I'll probably get more views in the winter by doing it that way. So uh, not this weekend, the following weekend, I'm going on a hike with Francine and we're going to back to Queen Elizabeth Wildlands um, without Cordo um, this time. Uh, just to kind of do a one night uh, bass fishing trip, hopefully do a catch and cook. Um, and then <clears throat> I have a uh, fall trip planned to the French River, which I'm super stoked about that I'll be going with uh, Mike and Todd. And um, I do have a solo trip booked, my first solo trip that I'll be doing kind of, um, I'll be making it more actually into sort of like a short film uh, documentary style, um, that I'm going to experiment with. So what is this video about? Um, I'm going to start doing vlogs each week as well now. Um, and, um, it's going to actually be a little unrelated to canoe tripping, but I guess it still can tie in with it. Um, I'm going to be doing videos on hunting. Um, so what do I know about hunting? I know nothing about hunting. I'm trying to get into it. Um, I'll just be completely honest with you. I've never fired a gun before, nothing. So I know nothing about hunting, nothing about guns, but I'm gonna be doing vlogs on it. So I'm hoping this might help people that are also in my situation that know absolutely nothing about it. They know no relative, they don't have any relatives in the area that are into it. Um, they don't have any buddies that are into it that can help them. I know nothing and I don't know anyone so how am I going to get in to hunting? Um, this all probably started um, about six months ago. This sort of, you know, me trying to get into it. Um, I booked some courses um, for my non-restricted firearms license and my hunting license um, or a hunting course to get my hunting license. And that's probably been about a four to five month process. So I did get my pal the other month. And I did buy a gun just this past weekend. So let me show you. So this is the gun I got. It's a Remington 870 Express pump action 20 gauge shotgun. Um, and it's not loaded, obviously. It's got its trigger guard on, it's got the safety on, um, and there is no bullet in the. Um, there's no bullet loaded and there's none in the magazine, obviously. So, um, why did I choose a shotgun? Um, and why did I choose a 20 gauge? So I chose this just because I think it's the <clears throat> most versatile gun that I could get, um, where I could kind of grow and learn with it. Um, it's not that I don't think I can shoot a 12 gauge. Um, I'm 230 pounds, almost six foot two. So I, I don't doubt that, you know, 
I can shoot a 12 gauge at all and be comfortable with it. But I got a 20 gauge just because it seemed like it was kind of a nice in between. Um, and um, if I'm, you know, just starting out and I'm learning, then, uh, and I want to fire for longer periods of time, a 20 gauge will be able to help with that. Um, so this has a modified choke on it too, which is kind of a nice sort of in between. So how am I going to learn to use this? So I do have courses booked um, where someone um, from a gun range is going to show me how to use this gun. Um, they're going to tell me about it, hopefully, um, let me know how to properly maintain it. But they're going to teach me how to fire it um, and they're going to teach me more about it. Hopefully how to, you know, choose uh, shotgun shells and yeah. Um, so that's Wednesday, um, that that's going to happen. So hopefully, I don't know if they're going to let me film in there at all, but hopefully I'll be able to show a, a little bit of video clips of me firing, um, my 20 gauge shotgun for the first time. Or I guess the question that everyone might be asking is why hunting? Why get into it? Um, and I, I guess it's a personal choice. It's like, it's like fishing and choosing to harvest the fish. Um, it's, to me, it seems like it's the next natural um, progression, kind of sort of towards um, being a conservationist and um, I guess just being more ethical with the way that I want to live. Um, and some people might disagree with that. They might think, oh, well, how can, how can you say, eth you know, how can you say that you're being more ethical and you're killing animals? Um, to me, it's more ethical because I know where um, I'll know where the meat that I'm get that I'm harvesting is coming from. Uh, whereas, you know, where I mean, and as good as it is, when you buy meat from the supermarket, you don't know where it came from. You don't know the conditions um, that that animal was living in, um, and if that animal was just kind of kept in a confined space for the entirety of its life, just to basically be you know slaughtered and eaten by humans. So. Some people might disagree with that. I personally think it's hypocritical if you criticize someone for harvesting their own fish or animal in order to consume when that someone else is just killing the food for you. So um, anyway, again, very personal views, um, very um, contentious maybe subjects, um, some that people might not want to watch um, these videos for, but I'm totally cool with that. Um, because these are just my views and you're more than welcome to your views and opinions. But, um, um, and I mean, aside from the fact that, um, just by purchasing a hunting license, um, you're, you're already contributing to conservation. You're helping, um, the, the fees that you basically provide to get your hunting license. Those are going towards con enforcement. It's going towards conservation, basically. Um, helping, you know, protect the land um, and reserves and um, certain areas where uh, maybe they're trying to help reintroduce certain animals. Um, and it's going into science. Yeah, that's why I chose to get into hunting. Make sure if um, this is something that you're into and you like, um, subscribe, uh, comment, um, like the video. And yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more um, more of these types of videos, but if you don't like them, don't worry, I'll still be doing canoe trips um, and fishing trips um, that don't feature hunting. Um, I would say this is probably going to be like a small portion of the channel, um, probably about 25%. Um, and it's more going to be just in the fall um, during the seasons that um, are open for hunting. So, um, hope you like this video and I will see you guys around.